we have a huge problem on our hands in America. <clears throat> we have an absolute coordinated effort by the Democratic Party to, to pull together one of the worst candidates that we've ever seen in American history to run this country. I hope that I hope that y'all understand what is at stake in America here. This is this cannot be about who you like. This has to be about what is best for this country. What is best for this country? Do you think that four years ago that an economy that was the best it had been in 50 years is not good for this country? Do you think <clears throat> that Kamala Harris the worst vice president in the US in US history is what's right for this country. A woman who was put in charge of a border that these illegal aliens are running rampant all across America. Do you believe that Kamala Harris, who was put in charge of foreign policy and we have war, we have the Middle East is literally on fire. We turn our back on Israel. We support Hamas. We have went, we have men beating women up in Olympic sports, and this is all pushed by a far left Democrat agenda. We we have to open our eyes to what's going on here. We're in a bad situation. Democrats are using large large donor money to mobilize foot soldiers to find new Democratic voters in states such as Georgia, North Carolina, Virginia, Pennsylvania. They're using donor money, and they're offering folks rides to vote. They're, they're putting pieces of paper in front of them and pulling wool over their eyes, making them think that they're signing something that they're not. They're making them think that they're signing a piece of paper that's not saying that they're a registered Democrat voter. These people will stop at nothing. They're going to folks in they're going to folks in old folks' homes and they're laying down a piece of paper and they're using scare tactics to have them sign as Democrat voters. And they don't have to go out and vote. You know why? Because if they're registered, if the shit gets thick, mail in voting they put it in the box, and they have been caught doing it. They have been caught with people with boxes full of votes, pouring them in the mailboxes in the primaries just recently. How much have you heard about that in the news? You know why you're not going to hear nothing about it in the news? Because the news is a uh, army for the Democratic Party, all the way from the high-ups to the low foot soldiers. These people are absolutely terrorist. They want the United States of America to be completely ran by government. They want to tell you what to do. They think they know what's best for you. They think they should make up the decisions in your mind for you. Okay? That's what these people, they're absolute Marxist, they're absolute terrorist, okay? And they talk about democracy. They don't want democracy. They want to be a dictatorship. Just like they pushed Joe Biden out and told 14, they disenfranchised 14 million voters and told them that what they thought wasn't good enough and they gave absolutely no excuse, absolutely no excuse for the reason that Joe Biden's not in this race except that we know he couldn't win. Okay? These people that. Everything that comes out of the Harris campaign is a lie. They are ball face lying. Every time you turn the TV on, we're better on immigration. We're better on the economy. We're, uh, we're for fracking. We are strong on the border. 
These are all lies. They're blatant lies. And if it was Donald Trump, he would be noosed by the media. This woman gets away with murder every day, and the news media should be jailed for the crap that they're letting this campaign spit and the wool that they're pulling over the American people's eyes, this coordinated effort, this army of foot soldiers, all the way to the top of the big corporations, Olympics, Google, mass donors, millions and millions of dollars. These people need to be stopped. And Donald Trump is the only one that can stop them. The liberal, the liberal news media refuses to even talk to Harris. Big tech pushing her agenda. She should be pounded by the media for her flip-flopping positions on fracking, defund the police, bail fund, such as. Trump will be hounded and pounded for every move that he makes. From the littlest thing to the, to the largest thing. The media, who is supposed to give facts and be unbiased, will not say a word on the unprecedented cover-up, which is their job, to bring the news for both sides. This is... This has got me beside myself, and if I could just reach a couple... A couple of people. We just organized a trade deal with Russia to bring home three U.S. citizens. We just opened Pandora's box to negotiate with terrorists, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. Okay? If you, you basically told these people, you, you, when you're, when you're overseas and you're vacationing, we just told the terrorists, you take our citizens, you jail them, you put them wherever, and we will pay for them. We gave these people back mass murderers, hit men, ve very nasty people to get our citizens back. Am I happy our citizens are back? Yes, but what is the reason we do not negotiate with terrorists? Because there is a ton of them all around the world. They're spread far. And if you start negotiating with terrorists, you open the door for a never-ending flow of people being kidnapped people being murdered if they don't get what they want. We have to open our eyes. This election is worth more. This election is worth more than anyone understands. God help us this November. We have to get Donald Trump in office. He will clean all of these things up.